All tonight. After the silent apocalypse, a new natural resource emerged as our last hope of survival. As we all teetered on the brink of extinction, mining Altonite became our lifeblood. By building cities over rich deposits of Altonite, we somehow managed to carve an existence for ourselves. There was hope, only a strand, but at least we had something to believe in. But even hope was soon to be cruelly snatched away from our feeble grasp by those colossal beasts that rose to prominence over the years. The Protonovus, the gargantuan life forms we dubbed simply as the enemy, began attacking our cities as if they wanted to wrest Altonite from mankind's grasp. That was 50 years ago. Thanks to the monumental efforts and sacrifices of our forefathers, today we at last have cities with the firepower and defenses to keep our enemy at bay. But to ensure our continued survival, to remain one step ahead of the enemy and protect our growing populations, the task of bolstering our cities remains never-ending. And let us not forget, we must also prepare for the inevitable onset of the second apocalypse, Altered States. Congratulations on your appointment, Commander. Oh, right. I'm your deputy, Toa. Pleased to meet you, sir. I have a feeling you weren't told much about what you would be doing here. Okay, that's what I thought. The Allied Command, well, the Admiral anyway, can be pretty disorganized. It can make life difficult sometimes. I keep telling him he needs to plan things out better, but nope. Never listens to little old me. Your mission here in Kimberly is to develop the city's defenses and turn it into a safe haven for its residents. We need to build a city that can thwart any enemies that come to our gates and keep our residents' minds at ease. Oh, and on a side note, could you introduce any eligible men to me if you happen to know any? Not that you have to, it's just, um, you know, with the hours here, it's really tough to meet anybody new. It's so bad that my only companions are my books. Yo! Got it. Commander! Well, let me think. <laughs> okay, okay.
Okay, sure. So the first thing to cover is unit construction. It's the most fundamental part of city development and defense. We of course need weapons units to take on the enemy, but we can't live here unless we also have residential units. Now, the towering building at the heart of the city is the command center. You will have noticed the crane, I presume. That's the crane used to construct new units after you've singled out a vacant plot of land. dares to come our way. As soon as the enemy comes within range of our weapons units, they'll attack automatically. But, of course, enemies can come from all sides, so we have to rotate the city's zone so the units are pointing in the right direction. That's where you come in, Commander. Oh, if the command center at the heart of the city gets taken out, it's all over. So we do have to be careful. Is that too much information for one session? I'm not sure if I managed to explain everything clearly. But it's completely okay if you decide to just leave with your gut. There's nothing wrong with that. So, how about we conduct a strike on some enemies?
should be done shortly. sighted near the city, sir. Shall we conduct a strike on these enemies? Threat eradication order. Battle stations, everyone. City switching to battle configuration. Stowing the crane. Shielding the CDC next. All units switching to strike mode. Time to reveal my hidden potential. The enemy's here! Ha! <laughs> like mobs to a flame. Great work! Here's the report. Here are our strike results. That's all the data right there. I'll send it off to R&D for analysis. Next up is how our latest strike results have affected the city's happiness levels. Overall happiness has increased. That's great news. Thanks to the outcome of that last strike, people are asking for permission to live in our city. This is great! These are the crystals we managed to procure from the enemy in the last strike. Crystals are a special mineral resource that are produced when an enemy is taken out. We'll need that for unit construction and development and defense in general. So let's try to gather as much as we can in each strike. Um, next is the report on operator performance. Make sure you keep a close eye on focus and energy levels too. Which operator do you feel contributed the most to that last strike? Oh, when you reward operators for good work, they get a boost of energy and accrue experience, too. Oh dear. I feel bad for everyone else on the crew now. Being the only one to get praise from you, Commander. That's it for the report. Thank you for your excellent leadership, as always, sir. Commander! All right! Hey 
now. What the heck? By the way. That's right. Hmm. Oh, come on. Uh... Let's see now. Yo! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Let's see. Got it. Okay. I see. What do you mean? Okay. Huh. That's fine. But... Got it. Dandelions arrive near the city. We'll be there until you give them permission to enter our airspace. How was your first strike? Don't worry, it never goes the way you planned at first, but you'll get used to it soon. Oh, and you can use items during strikes. So if you don't like how a battle's going, try using an item. I think 
I should explain how you go about boosting the city's population. You see, when you complete a mission, you'll get residence requests. People who want to move to the city. We're under constant threat from the enemy these days. So if people think a city is safe, they want to live there. When you get residence requests, pick a port where the migrants aboard the Dandelion can disembark. Then we'll get to bring the migrants into the city. And that will increase the city's population. Just watch the number and level of your residential units, or the migrants will be rejected due to lack of housing.